Amateur Logic Shorts. Automate your pie. So you got a pie. Who doesn't love pie? We got all kind of pies. Well, I say, let's focus in on some of the really cool things you could do with the pie, especially revolving around remote accesses and Linux commands that help with automation. Notably around the Linux commands, specifically cron or cron tab, the other being how to go from one pie to another without password, but yet still remaining secure. All right, well, let's get started with passwordless SSH accesses. Like it says, it's possible to configure Raspberry Pi to allow accesses from another computer without needing to provide that password each time you connect to it. To do this, you need to use the SSH, an SSH key instead of a password. Let's check for existing keys. List profile for my user directory and the hidden.ssh directory. And as you can see there, I have already some keys. That's okay. I'm going to generate them anyway. ssh-keygen. And it's going to generate a public-private RSA key pair. And it's going to ask me, where do you want to put this? Then it wants a passphrase. I'm going to leave this empty. Otherwise, you'll have to type that passphrase every time you use it, which kind of makes it like a password again. So you hit enter again, and it generates the key. If I go ahead and show the contents of that directory again, now I have that second one that I created, id underscore rsa2, concatenate the id rsa2.pub is the one I generated just now, slash id rsa pub2, really long string of random characters at my host here. So it lets the other side know what, where it's coming from. Now, the idea is to copy this key to the other side or to the other computer. The one I want to connect to automatically without having to enter a password. There's a command for that as well. You don't have to go and copy it to the other computer. There's actually a built-in process. My pi. That's the one I want to go to. Uh, you would have been prompted for a password there because you do have to know that password for the other side that you would log into. But after that, you can pretty much go straight to it. SSH pi at 192, that other computer on my network is this one. So one of the other interesting things about that is besides SSH, for running commands and, and going over to the other computer remotely. It also works with files. Just like you could SSH to the other side, you can also SCP, which stands for secure copy, secure shell and secure copy. You can copy files from your scripts or your jobs that you might run and send them to the other side just by using these SCP commands. Now let's move on to cron which is a tool for configuring scheduled tasks on unix system on linux uh, so there's a command called cron tab and that's the command that we're going to use to edit cron tab so let's go ahead and bring that up over here on my pi on this side of the shack cron tab dash e for edit and it opens a text file in nano a text editor that's built into the pies. That cron tab contains, in my case, a whole bunch of commented outlines, which is in every uh, one of them. They're all like that. So what, the one that's important for me, this line at the very bottom, I uh, wrote a uh, simple bash script to take a screenshot of the screen on display zero on the pie, and then copy that over to the other pie using SCP. The important thing for you to know here about CronTab is how the format of this, these numbers and these asterisks up front work. The layout basically in this first character space is minutes, hours, the day of the month, the month, and then the last character is the day of the week, zero through seven, and zero through six or Sunday to Saturday. This is the format of 
a cron job, which is what you'll do here. So what my cron job is saying here is every slash five minutes, basically that slash five is looking for that character five. So every five minutes, my um, pi is going to run this shell script. The cron tab dash L command simply lists what your cron tab is for your user in this case. That's what the cron job is all about. And again, these are tasks that can be used to automate things with your Pi. So let me show you a little bit about what I'm doing with it. So what I'm doing with this is basically having my little network of Pi's over here, copy things, uh, information, files, data, you name it, to somewhat of a central Pi that I have set up. Here you can see on the bash script that is in my cron tab running every five minutes it's basically going and taking display zero the screen that the pi displays on the monitor i have here it's taking a picture of that and saving it that the scrot is a screenshot basically it's saving it as a file name and then is you running scp to that other computer over the network. And if you notice, there's no password being passed here. And that's the whole point of what this is about because it's it's gonna use that private public key pair that you generated to be able to send it over the wire securely via this script. What that is on the other side for me is on my website here, this uh, PNG, sorry, file that you can see at the bottom left there is my Pi Stars console. So I'm basically getting a screenshot of my Pi Stars console every five minutes published to a web server that I can pretty much access from anywhere. And there are several devices that are doing that just to give me updates and outputs that I might wanna see. That is what I'm using it for. And I guess just to give a demonstration here, and, and there you go. So, and, and it ran that command with no problem, copy that file over the network. There you go, automate, automate your, your pie. pie. If you enjoy Amateur Logic Shorts, please click the like button. Be sure to click subscribe to be notified when new episodes become available. And let your friends know about this video by clicking share.